Well, for the first time in program history, the Brainerd Little Falls girls hockey team is playing in the state tournament. On the other bench tonight, though, Edina, the top seed in Class 2A, the team they lost to 4-1 earlier this season. But they get their rematch at the X quarterfinal action. Here we go. The Warriors got behind early. Emily Olden just minutes into the game. 1-0 Hornets strike first. Nicole Scholes was busy all night. Pad save here, though, and the cover. That'll keep it a one-goal deficit. The offense, though, just struggled to get quality chances. But it was, this was one of them. Ella Kalushi, though, denied by Megan Smith. Then later, still trying to get some momentum going. Kalushi, though, doesn't get all of it. Smith covers once again. Edina, they're the top seed for a reason. Puck put towards net. Olivia Swaim then knocks it in for another. Tough night for the Warrior offense as they just couldn't get anything going. They fall 4-0. For more from the XL Energy Center, here's Clayton Castle. Well, what a historic season for the Brainerd Little Falls Warriors as they became the first team from Brainerd to ever make a state tournament. Unfortunately for the Warriors, that magical run came to an end tonight as they lost to the Dino Hornets in the state quarterfinals. You know, to beat a team like that, you have to play close to a perfect game because they're going to capitalize on anything and everything. And we weren't able to do that, but that's a credit to them. You know, I mean, the one thing that they were was consistent throughout, you know, whether it was their first line, second line, or third line. You know, they were consistent in their skill. They were consistent in their, their patience. And, you know, they were really good finding that player without the puck. Going in, we knew what they were going to play like, and we just couldn't stop them those first two periods. We didn't come hard, out hard enough those first two and then play our game. If we would have played the same way we played in the third period, we, it would have been a way different game. Well, the season isn't over quite yet for the Warriors as they next will play in the Constellation Bracket tomorrow at noon at Ritter Arena. Reporting from the XL Energy Center in St. Paul, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.